What is happening, Prestonites? Welcome back to the Isle of Justice for this round of pixel art and superheroes and another fun perspective. We're going to talk about the Marvel. We've already kind of talked about the DC. This is this water wall uh, where we kind of hide the Marvel side from the DC side. And for some fun alliteration, we are calling this Marvel and Minecraft. And so they are kind of split up. You have this lava. We're going to press this button. And as you press this button, the water curtain begins to fall down. Marvel's first comic came out in 1939, featuring the Human Torch and Submariner. All right. And so as you can kind of see, as we're going to get ready to look up, you can into the side there you go see how some of the water is already dropping and by the time we get back all of the water will be gone we're going to come in through this little archway thor captain marvel the marvel sign thor's hammers right there we could go ahead and kind of see some people we're going to go this way and look at our friendly neighborhood spider-man spider-man created by the great stanley first appeared in august whoop whoop great month to have a birthday uh, in 1962. Fun fact, Stan Lee used a fly and some other insects to experiment with before landing on a spider. And Spider-Man was the first teenage hero that wasn't someone's sidekick like Robin or Speedy. Uh, but Robin also wasn't really a superhero. He was more of a vigilante, more of the water starting to fall. Over here, we have Black Panther. Uh, and Black Panther is not made up of your typical, you'll see this a few more times here, instead of like just concrete or terracotta, um, we use some wood and some other things to help with the texture. Marvel tried to buy DC Comics in 1984. DC said no, which was good. Call it because DC grew in popularity and Marvel filed for bankruptcy in 1996. So we have Thor and Captain Marvel and Nova, Nick Fury. Captain Marvel is awesome. So Captain Marvel, why she didn't make an appearance in the film, she was an integral part or important part of Marvel's Civil War. She was initially on Team Iron Man, but in Civil War II, she led her own faction fighting against Iron Man. She has been a part of the Guardians of the Galaxy and S.H.I.E.L.D., New Avengers, Defenders, Star Jammers, X-Men. All right. We head over to Mount Marvel more. So here's good old Nick Fury, The Vision, Ant-Man, Wanda, Black Widow, and The Hulk. The Hulk debuted in 1963, and we have another one right there. The Thing from Fantastic Four was the most popular character at the time. So to capitalize on this, Marvel created another big monster, and that's how we got The Hulk. All right. Here we got Thor, we're coming up on Nova. Nova, Richard Ryder, member of the Nova Corps, uh, until they all got wiped out and all of their collective power ended up inside Richard, making him super strong. You might be more familiar with Sam Alexander donning the, the mantle of Nova. He was introduced to us in 2011. All right, then we have Hawkeye and Winter Soldier, and we have the Hulk that we talked about just kind of a second ago. There is a team of Avengers made up of animals, uh, but not werewolves. Uh, and speaking of animals, we're gonna see one right on the other side of the Hulk as we look at the Guardians. There's good old Captain America. We have Star-Lord and we have Groot, and with Groot we have, the, we have Rocket kind of on his shoulder. We have the smoke coming out of his blaster, you know, just that attention to detail. As we start to turn back around, we're going to head over to Doctor Strange. Uh, the cool thing about Doctor Strange is his body is a living weapon. We have Captain America and we have Iron Man. Now, let's be honest. When the Iron Man movie came out in 2008, it changed a lot. Robert Downey Jr. is a great Tony Stark and the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe is fantastic. The 20 movie lineup, the, the projects they're still working on, the next phase they're going to be dropping, they have just been incredible and have done some incredible things. Captain America was originally going to be called Super America, uh, 
but there had already been too many supers in publication, so Captain America was chosen instead by Jack Kirby and Joe Simon. Back to Doctor Strange, again, he is his whole body because of his spells and the eye. He is a living weapon. Over here, you can, you can kind of see on the other side of Iron Man, um, standing in front of Cyclops, uh, we're going to make our way th there, is the Wasp. The Wasp was a member of many Avenger groups. In fact, was one of the original founding members. All right, we are going to head to um, some of the other Marvel installments. Stan Lee and Jack Kirby created the X-Men together, debuting the X-Men issue one in September of 1963. So we're going to come up on Cyclops blasting his optic blast from his eyes and his visor. Oh, did you guys notice that Batgirl over there? All right, we have Jean Grey donning her original X-Men suit. Iceman over here using his powers. Now that was a fun way to try to figure it out. I originally had him having ice come out of his mouth, but that's not how his power works. Uh, and so I had to play around a little bit and get his hand um, and he's currently actively putting out the fires as you can see as the ice is growing professor x wolverine wolverine is stopping a bad guy named legion who's a duplicate mutant um and real quick let's just fly up here and look at some of the attention of detail so he's being stabbed which has to hurt so he's crying so item frame and some lapis detail then you have a look out about all these guys. You have Rogue over here. Let's go to Nightcrawler first. Um, oh, Nightcrawler's cool. Nightcrawler is uh, an acrobat. Uh, he's most known for his teleportation power. Uh, he's a really skilled fighter and his tell is actually a weapon. Then you have Rogue. She's one of those where um, she uses different building blocks. Her hair is actually all made out of oak. You have Jubilee over here. Jubilee creates small um, explosions. Oh, you see the Powerpuff Girls? So behind all these guys are other pixel art projects. Storm, the queen of weather. Uh, and then we are gonna wrap up the video with the Fantastic Four. Mr. Fantastic, Invisible Woman, The Thing, and flying up there in the sky himself is the human torch so a lot of people are marvel fans and that's okay everybody has their perspectives um you guys already know my perspective from the former or from the earlier superhero video but thank you for listening to my perspective again maybe this has taught you something new something you didn't already know perhaps you got inspired to jump on Minecraft and build something yourself, maybe even create your own superhero. Marvel has done a lot of really good things for the hero verse. Uh, Iron Man and Avengers and Thor and all those movies that have come out really brought comic books and superheroes back into the public's eye, which was great for the comic book companies and the readers, the movies brought us a bunch of new readers. Um, so, yeah, we are always expanding, always adding more. Like I said, we are having some, we work, we're working on some other pixel projects behind the Marvel uh, side of the island. But thank you guys so much for joining me. That's all the time we have for today. Drop in your comics your favorite Marvel superhero. Not just superhero, but your favorite Marvel superhero.